96 FM. Good morning, Claire's and Lisa. For this first day of May, hard to believe, really, on this Monday morning, and Freddie and Queen and the Radio Gaga at 19 to 9. First day of May, one of the things to think about is a flu vaccine, if you haven't already. Mark Duncan Smith from the AMA is joining us. Good morning, Mark. Morning, Doc. Yes. Good morning, good morning, good morning listeners. Now, the state government has announced free flu shots for everyone, like last year. I certainly took advantage of it. Uh, as we head toward what's being called a triple whammy this winter, what is a triple whammy? Well, first of all, I'd, I'd like to compliment the McGowan government. It is a great initiative to provide these free vaccines to yep. people over the age of six months. It, it really is a terrific initiative. The triple whammy is basically the problem of covid flu and RSV, um, all occurring at a peak of around uh, August, September. Um, and what we're seeing at this stage for the figures so far for 2023 is that we're, we're going to have a nasty year. We're going to have probably one of the, the worst years on record. Uh, 2019 was a very bad year. This was before COVID started. Yes. Uh, for flu. Yep. Uh, and our numbers for flu are already um, trending higher than 2019, unfortunately. Oh, Have we forgotten how to uh, wash the hands and keep it tidy? Mark, what's going on? Well, absolutely. We're, we're there's, uh, I think there's a bit of complacency out there. And we've also got international travel, which has come back online. Yes. So, unfortunately, yes. influenza, flu virus, is, uh, you know, travels around the world via the airports. Um, and we've got that happening. Uh, yes, people need to arc up with their uh, personal hygiene, uh, washing hands, coughing into their elbows, mm. staying home if they're unwell. Mm. And it's really important that everyone keeps their vaccination up to date, and that includes COVID as well as flu. It also doesn't help that WA has the lowest flu vaccination rate in the country. Oh, why, right. why do you think that is? Yeah, look, I think it's partly because we do tend to lag behind the East Coast uh, a little bit, much as we did with the COVID numbers as well. Uh, I think it's because the weather here is better for longer. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't realise that we're getting into winter as soon as we are. Um, and there's probably a little bit of complacency here because we did just have such a, uh, a lucky uh, break um, with respect to COVID and that COVID was not anywhere near as severe here mm. as it was in yeah. the eastern states or anywhere else in the world for that matter. True. Hey, Mark, I've been the last few years gone to the pharmacy for the, uh, for the flu shot, but is it OK to make an appointment with the GP or is that just clog things up that end? No, no, no. Basically, you can go to uh, pharmacies and also to GPs. Yep. Uh, I think especially if people have very, very, very complex medical problems, aren't sure if their uh, vaccination is right for them, I think they're good. Mm. Uh, GP is a good place to get that specific complex advice. Mm. Um, and yes, can see their trusted GP as well for that. Um, I don't mind admitting, I used to be one of those silly people who used to say, I'm not getting a flu shot, because when they give you a flu shot, they're putting the flu in you, and, and you get you get a <laughs> dose of the flu. Well, the last couple of years, I have had a flu shot, and that wasn't the case. So, but I think there are still some people that believe that. What would you say to them? Yeah, look, these, these um, vaccinations are very well tested and, and very well thought out. They're specifically targeted for the variants of influenza flu that are running around the world at the time. Um, and, and look, they're very well tolerated and very safe. I've, I get a flu shot regularly. I'll be getting another one this year. Yeah. Um, and, but I also urge people to keep their COVID status up to date as well. COVID is still out there. It's very underreported. It's underreported by a factor of at least between two and ten times underreported currently. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot out there now. If you get COVID and flu together, mm. well, then you're, you're really, uh, you know, not going to have a great time of it. So make sure you keep your COVID, vac COVID vaccination up to date too. Can mm. you get those um, vaccines together at the, at the same time, on the same day, yeah. two jabs? Yeah, you, yeah, you can get them at the same time, same uh, day, different yeah. arms. Yeah, OK. Um, okay. So, right. so, yes, you can go in and get that done as well. Yeah. yeah. What we will probably see sometime in the future, which will probably be years, is there'll probably be a combined COVID flu yes. vaccine oh, right, okay. uh, with yeah. one injection. Yep. Uh, but that's that's probably years away. Cover all the bases. So mm -hmm. just want to bring up prescriptions uh, uh, this morning, Mark, and the changes sure. to the PBS of late. What are you, what's your take on it? Look, I think it's a brilliant move by the federal government. Um, ultimately, this will make uh, medicine's a lot more afford affordable to the people of Australia. Um, there's a lot of scaremongering by the pharm Pharmacy Owners Guild about shortages, mm. but it, that, that, that just doesn't stack up. I mean, if you've got the same number of pills being dispensed, mm. you're giving people double the amount, but they're presenting half as many times, yeah. 
Well, yeah. you're, not, you're not actually, there's no extra pills being distributed. Mm. So mm. I think it's just scaremongering by the Pharmacy Owners Guild. Another thing yeah. that we're interested in your thoughts on is the new Women and Children's Hospital being moved. Now it's going to be moved to QE2, uh, from QE2 to Fiona Stanley. Wasn't there originally talk of it being a move to the children's, uh, the like this is the, um, you know, the, the this babies. Is for the, yeah, for the bubs, yeah. Wasn't there originally going to be in the same place as the children's hospital? Yeah, look, the, the Get Read report and also the international best standards are that you do co-locate the women's and newborns with the paediatric hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was always the plan. Uh, the government, for reasons, because the medical profession was quite simply not consulted about this uh, change from QE2 to uh, Fiona Stanley. Right. Now, I'm, I've been calling on the, the McGowan government to release the business case for both QE2 site and the Fiona Stanley site, because there must be a business case for the Fiona Stanley site, yeah. mm. which mm. appears to have been developed in a very clandestine, secret way. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. And essentially, the medical fraternity was blindsided. Mm. Now, it may be that Fiona Stanley is the right decision, but it, it may be that QE2 is the right decision, but no one else knows because it's been done in a very, very, very uh, quiet way. Mm. The biggest change Which I've seen is Which can be a worry. That, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it is because the biggest change yeah. I've seen is that the new completion date is 2029. Oh, dear. Oh, God. No, but that's three or four years earlier, which is great news. Oh, okay. Then however, that's that's however, a long way away for both of us. Yeah. Yeah. No, but however, it just happens to coincide when the McGowan government are going to be going for a fourth term re-election. Oh, no. Very oh, rarely. Right. Okay. So, Purely you know, a coincidence, I'm sure. Mm. So let's see the business cases. Let's have a yeah. bit of transparency and let the yeah. people of Western Australia understand the reasons. Transparency is key. We li- and yeah, we like that you got to use the word clandestine this morning because it's one of our favourites. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have it the other way. Uh, the key and the things to take away from today, get into the pharmacy yeah. or your doctor uh, and get the flu shot. Yeah. Absolutely, get your flu shot, keep your COVID vaccination up to date. Thank the triple you, whammy. Dr Mark Duncan-Smith. Hi, Mark. Take care. Have, have a great, a great day. day. Bye. Yeah, it's 96 FM. It's 12 to 9. Perth.